Guys, nice. welcome back to the training on SSRS with MDX. So we have seen a lot of videos. Um, we have a lot of sessions on how to create parameters and how to add cascading parameters and what are cascading parameters and what is uh, the different stuff like uh, uh, creating report parameters and creating query parameters and so on. You can see this is the data set which we have created and we played a lot in this. If, if you observe, we have use str to set for multi-value parameters and str to member for single value parameters and cascading parameters and so on. As I told you in last sessions, we'll have a hidden data sets always there for loading the values to the parameters. This color will load the parameters to this color parameter. This prod cat data source data set is for loading the data to the prod category parameters and in the same way products for products parameter and as you all know this products parameter should be listed or loaded based on the selection of product category and hence we have added some filter condition here based on the selection and I have I explained you so many ways of adding the uh, filter condition right so we discussed a lot about this stuff agree now after this uh, once the parameters and the data set is ready, then the remaining stuff is only the designing of report. report. The designing of report will remain the same. I told to many of my students, um, particularly highlighting Wamshi, who is my best friend also, uh, I told him many times that uh, um, designing of report is same irrespective, irrespective of the data source that you are selecting. The data source impact will be only up to creating the parameters and creating the data sets. Once the data sets and parameters are ready, then you are good to go, you can design. See, once you go to your table or matrix, it is the same fields it is going to show. It is not going to say that this field is from SharePoint or this field is from uh, SSH cube or this field is from Oracle, nothing like that. It is just a field of a data set. Okay, so don't bother. I mean, the designing part will remain the same as we discussed in SSRS with SQL Server training session, but to, I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll give a quick uh, walkthrough of different options like drill through, drill down, uh, sub reports. And he is, I mean, most of my students are much worried about how to design sub reports and how to design drill down, drill through. I don't know anything about that, so please help me. Blah 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 blah. So I'm preparing a couple of videos sessions on the same drill down, drill through, sub reports, and so on. Once it is done, then I'll go for SSIS or some other concepts that are uh, running in my mind from long back. Okay, first in this video, uh, I'll do one thing. I'll cover drill down reports, how to design the drill down part. Okay, so let me go here. This is gone. So you should not do like that. Once, once you modify the query here and if you go to the query window, I mean designer, design mode, then the, the query, the changes that you have done will, will be lost. So be careful, uh, don't do that. So we have product color here. You can see this is the raw items. Okay. And this is from cube and where condition, blah, blah, blah. This is fine. And now what I'm going to do here is, uh, I'm going to add two more things. One is category and another one is subcategory. So I've added category, perfect, comma. Here I will add subcategory. If I have more than two to three columns, then only I can explain you about the drill down option, right? So that is why I'm adding this stuff. Okay, I've added it. Let me execute it and see whether it is working fine or not. Perfectly working fine. So the data set is ready. I have five columns and I have only one group here, English product name. Before that, I'll pull subcategory. And before, uh, pre I mean, first column should be category. Okay, now we are good to go. So if you see, this is a matrix report where I have specified uh, three groups, three I can say row groups, one is category, second one is subcategory, third one is product and uh, I have sales amount. Now let me show you how the report is, the report looks. This is how the report looks, okay. 
by default I'm selecting the color black so let me set it to select all and uh, click on view report okay perfect so if you see accessories has these subcategories bike racks bike stands bottles and cages and bike racks has one product bike stands has another product and bottles and cages has three products and cleaners has one product uh, helmets has three products so this is how this is grouped based on this category subcategory and product this is just a plain uh, matrix reward don't worry about that and here if you see this is uh, defaulted to black color how to change the defaulted one default value so to change that go to default values and instead of this set it to all so this should take all let me try it nope the problem I'll tell you the problem the problem is the ampersand it is going for key column key column will be blank for all you don't know I mean if you're not so good in MDX so don't try to understand and get confused here so now it is set perfectly working fine now drill down what is meant by drill down drill down is nothing but expand and collapse functionality you can find it in many many websites when you click on plus the next level options will be expanded and open and it will be shown and uh, when you collapse it will be collapsed so that is that functionality is called drill down for example there will be a plus sign before accessories when I click on that it will show it will open and show all the subcategories that are present under the category and in the same way for bottles and cages also there will be one plus sign if I click on that these three products will be expanded and shown when I click on minus sign it will be collapsed so how to implement the functionality drill down report is become a quite common one nowadays in the requirements of users so if you read the FRD functional requirement document or specification uh, there will be at least one or two drill down reports and drill through reports, sub reports so one of the most important types of reports is drill down. Now let's see how to implement so for drill down you need grouping so if you see here you have three groups in the rooms okay this is perfectly enough good enough so if you see this will be defaultly open the first one the second one should be opened only when you click on the first one first item right so for that go to advanced so sorry visibility initially it should be hidden okay when you open the report it should be hidden and display can be toggled by this report item that means the display can be toggled expand and collapse based on which item based on English product category name this is the group name if you see this is the group name and I selected it so based on what I have given the English product category name is if you double click on that the name of the group you have to give there remember if the name of the group is just XYZ then you have to give select XYZ or XYZ or the XYZ will be listed and you have to select the XYZ what I have done is I set the visibility to false that is height and I want it to display the toggling part based on the English product category similarly I have to achieve the same for English product also but this visibility should be toggled based on subcategory when the subcategory items are clicked uh, then it should be expanded and collapsed now let me click on preview see perfect first everything is collapsed only categories are visible when I click on category what it should show it should show all the subcategories that are present perfect right this looks far better than the earlier one without this toggling back now if I click on bottles and cages it has three products so perfect and minus it will be collapsed this is called drill down functionality expand and collapse or in other words toggling based on the another report item or another field so this is as easy as this implementing of this stuff and one important thing people will be uh, struck here sometimes people call me sir uh, I'm having minus sign when I click on minus sign it is expanding and when I click on plus sign it is collapsing it, it is acting in the reverse way so can you answer what's the problem so the problem here is these guys will give it as show as default and what will happen is if you set the show as default when the report is loaded it will be open the second item will be showing but still this will be in plus sign so if you click on plus it will collapse if you click on minus it will be expand so that is the problem if you set the visibility to true the toggling will act in a different way 
opposite way. But here for the products, if you see, it is collapsed and it is plus sign. This is perfect. Why? Because I set the visibility to false. So what you have to do in that case is you have to make sure that you set the visibility of the groups to false that is hide. So now it should work perfectly fine as you can see here. So that's it for this video and we have seen how to add drill down functionality and hope you understood the concepts and don't try with the same bullshit, answer, uh, bullshit example. Try different things and different ways. All the best guys. Have a nice day and catch you in my next video soon. Bye-bye.